Talking to Art Laffer about that later on in the next hour. Meanwhile, President Trump is talking tough on Pakistan, accusing the country of supporting terrorism. And as a result, he says, the president is threatening to pull billions of dollars in American aid in response, tweeting, quote, the United States has foolishly given Pakistan more than $33 billion in aid over the last 15 years, and they have given us nothing but lies and deceit. Thinking of our leaders as fools, they give safe haven to the terrorists we hunt in Afghanistan with little help, no more. So, does the president have a point, and what could pulling the rug out from under Pakistan mean? Rich Lowry, editor of the National Journal, joins us. Marie Harf, former State Department spokesperson and Fox News contributor. Welcome to you both. Rich, let me start with you. Hi, uh, look, Osama living in that house. Uh, yep. The government accused of protecting and sheltering Taliban and al-Qaeda officials. Yep. Uh, you know, I mean, critics say Pakistan is two-faced. Yeah, absolutely. Trump is absolutely correct. He has the essential insight here, which is that Pakistan is not a difficult friend of the United States. It's a devious adversary of the United States. It does, does give shelter to terrorists operating in Afghanistan. It is a government shot through with extremists, especially in its security services. So I like to see the Pakistanis squeal and squirm over this. The question, though, is what is the, the policy going forward? Because it's relatively easy to hit them on Twitter, it's much more difficult to come up with a policy over the long term that, that turns the orientation of Pakistan around. You know, Marie, does Rich uh, and the president have a point? I mean, look, what have we gotten for our $33 billion? Well, Rich is right. This is a problem administrations for decades have tried to deal with, and they've tried to square the circle that, you know, the, the uh, administrations of both parties have often felt like it was better to try and get Pakistan in the tent, even if they were a problematic uh, partner, which they certainly are, than to totally have them outside the tent supporting even more extremists. But Rich is right, and President Trump is right in theory. But the question really is, does this portend some bigger change in policy? Are they actually going to cut off this funding that they've been holding since late summer? Or was this just President Trump tweeting, the ambassador, uh, the U.S. ambassador in Pakistan was called in today by the Pakistani government to say what is actually going on here. But Rich is right. The Pakistanis have harbored and supported terrorist organizations, including some that have killed U.S. citizens yeah, about the for many Network. years. I mean, the, so, I mean, so shouldn't we, some would say, then cut off that money? I mean, the, Rich, they, they, the, the administration is saying that $255 million is not going to be handed over. And yeah, they, well, I think the point. answer clearly in theory is yes, absolutely, <laughs> we should cut it off. The problem is Pakistan has leverage over us, and no matter how bad mm -hmm. they are, they can get worse. This is a, a government with nuclear weapons, and the problem we've had over the last several, uh, you know, 10 years or more trying to turn the Pakistanis around is they are solely focused on their own interest and what's happening in Afghanistan. We always have about two dozen different balls in the air when it comes to national security. So they usually win out. I hope the, the administration comes up with a strategy well, what could that and a be? policy you, that can change you, that, but it's not easy. What would you suggest, Rich? Well, well I, I would su suggest pressure and uh, really trying to, to think about what would be the alternatives mm -hmm. to the ways we rely on the Pakistanis now. but. Again, Eric, that's not very easy because you know, if Pakistan totally turns against us, what's our land route into Afghanistan? And we're not getting out of Afghanistan anytime soon. That's another product of the Trump administration's review last year, which correctly fingered the problem we're having with Pakistan. But again, this is just not yeah, very simple uh, or easy well, stuff. Marie, I mean, those are some good points there. What would you suggest that we do? Can we actually, uh, through this withholding money or through other strategy, actually effect Pakistani behavior? Well, that's the billion dollar question. And if you totally withdraw aid and cut them off, then